Ufoma Oven Hara. Good morning, Judge. Good morning. You have three uh, overnight parking tickets. Is there anything you want to tell me about these? Um, so I just moved here July 1st, and I'm only here over the summer. I'm working at a summer internship. Um, I've also only been a car owner for three weeks, um, so, and from Texas. So I'm not really used to this like city parking thing. Um, and so I'm just getting used to like learning, learning what the different signs mean. Um, so before I got this first ticket, um, I read the sign and it said 8 a.m. or yeah, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, metered parking, and then after that it was fine. Um, and I looked around and there were lots of people parked. So I was like, okay, this should be cool. I parked there and woke up to a ticket. Um, and it's, it said overtime parking as the reason. Um, as someone who you know, isn't from Providence and hasn't parked a car a whole lot, um, I didn't know what overtime meant, and I thought maybe there was a meet, like I just didn't pay the meter, um, and, and like that was what the issue was. Um, so then I proceed to move to a different curb that didn't have any meter on it. I was like, okay, this should be cool. There are also people parked here. I park there. I wake up to a ticket. I'm like, okay, some, something is going on. So I Google it. I Google Providence parking ban, and um, as you can see on this Google search, it doesn't. <coughs> That's right. We know about that. Just okay. tell me about. It. Sorry, it doesn't return um, the ordinance, the city ordinance. It talks about just like various okay. like storm <coughs> stuff. Oh. Right. So I was like, okay, but then eventually I found a downtown Providence website that says no overnight parking in downtown Providence. Oh, so I was like, okay. okay, he's correct. And so I looked at the map and downtown Providence is here and my, home, my apartment's here. So I was like, okay, this maybe doesn't apply. Maybe there is like, just like a rule near my apartment that I just like was misunderstanding. Okay, that's it. <laughs> that's it, I'm sorry, I was trying to follow the rules. <laughs> It's now a quarter of nine in the morning. I have a dinner reservation tonight. I want to make it. I'm sorry. Right. I tend to I, You've got a full head of steam going on here. You know? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm nervous. Right. Now, the first thing that you were supposed to do that you didn't do, before you come to Providence, there's a rule. You have to read city ordinances. Yep. You didn't do that. And I love reading. <laughs> All right. Now, what type of internship are you doing? I'm working at um, a nonprofit called Public Lab Kits Initiative. Um, they develop um, toolkits like sensors and um, different like low cost stuff like that you can use to explore the environment. And what are you, what are you going to do after you finish that? I'm going to grad school at MIT in the fall. Inspector Quinn, do you know what the, what does MIT stand for? Oh, so Massachusetts. No, 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 no. I know you know. Oh. I know. <laughs> Judge. You know, and I know. I want to see if he knows. Oh, institute. Let's see if Joe knows the last word. A technology, but you know, Massachusetts. Your Honor, what it was was Massachusetts it? Institute of Technology, Correct. right? Exactly. Where's it located, right. Inspector Quinn? Massachusetts, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Cambridge. Yeah. <laughs> well, you did ex extensive research, <laughs> and I'm going to reward you now. <laughs> I usually. Um, dismiss the first ticket for people who come from out of town. But based on all the research that you did, at least you displayed to me that you had good intentions and that they, you're right, there isn't proper notice, you know, so the matter's going to be dismissed. Spend Thank the, you so much. Sp spend the money towards your education. Please, yeah. I'm broke. <laughs> Thank you one very of, much, Judge. Good one other thing, you. I understand with you going on to grad school with the technology and everything, and you millennials are so good with the phones and Googling. The easiest thing could have been to go old school before the phones, before the beepers. If you got the ticket, you could have called the police department and you would have got that answer. Absolutely. Instead of Googling, creating technology, yeah. doing everything no, you right. did. And wasting <laughs> 20 minutes of these people's time this morning explaining. You're absolutely right. right. There are other resources. Just pick up the phone and call. <laughs> very simple. But I'm getting with you. Have a great day. Thank Bye -bye. you very much.